Hi everyone, I'm Sam and I'm going to talk about ribosorches. What is a ribosorch? This newly discovered regulatory mechanism is defined as RNA elements that undergo a shift in its structure or conformational changes in response to binding of a regulatory molecule, which are small metabolites that are normally coded downstream of the mRNA. Ribosorch is located in the 5 prime and translated region of mRNA and act in this manner to regulate expression of downstream genes. They are very sensitive in that they respond to a very small amount of ligand. They are also very specific. In fact, studies have shown that uh, riboswitches are that hundredfold uh, more active in the solution containing their own ligands than other similar molecules. They are uh, quite short, they are quite short, uh, short, about 35 to 250 base pairs. There are classified into families and classes. Fiber switches in a family are related by the type of ligand they bind, while differ in secondary structure and RNA sequence. Ribo switches are named after the ligand they bind. For example, TPP ribo switch binds to TPP coenzyme. They are m there are many classes known. However, ten to twelve classes are most common and are under and are under studies for therapeutic use. Here are different types of ligands. There are coenzyme, amino acid, uh, nucleotides. Uh, the very interesting point about driver switches are that they mainly found in bacteria. Uh, that increases the specificity of the drug name. Okay. A driver switch contains two domains an aptoma domain, also known as ligand or metabolite binding domain which recognizes and binds to a specific ligand signal molecule. This domain is highly conserved even among distantly related organisms. The other do domain is less conserved and is called expression platform domain. Binding of ligand to aptoma domain causes conformational changes in this domain which leads to regulation of transcription or translation. Shine Dargano sequence is the ribosomal binding site which uh, lo locates in this domain and is involved in regulation. Okay, this structure uh, here represents the plus uh, with the with and without the uh, ligands. Here without Ligands, this uh, pink shaded box is aptoma domain, and the blue is the expression platform domain. The shine diagonal sequence would have most likely be found here. This sequence is here, and the one here. And that is web, as you can see, aptoma domain, and expression platform domain. There are three mechanisms in which ribose switches regulate gene expression. One, transcription termination. As depicted here, uh, top left without ligand, transcription proceeds. In, in the presence of ligand, here, it adopts a different conformation that will then interact with RNA polymerase and it terminates the transcription. Second, inhibition of translation. In the absence of uh, ligand, shine diagonal kind of sequence, which is ribosomal binding site, is available. Ribosome can bind, therefore translation occur. But in the presence of ligand, Shine diagram sequence is sequestered, no ribosomal binding, therefore no translation. The third mechanism is autocleavage, also known as 
splice processing. This is a special case of ribosomage that acts very similar to ribosomes. We also we look at this in more detail in the next slide. Okay, this pr uh, diagram shows the GLMS ribosome ribosomage uh, because of the activity of the this particular uh, ribosome or ribosomage having two uh, sort of uh, activity, both in ribosome and ribosomage, uh, we call it normally referred to as ribosome ribosomage. So how it works is that uh, here is the GLMS gene transcribed into mRNA and translated into this coenzyme, this enzyme which catalyzes formation of G GLCN6B. Then this molecule goes and interact with the mRNA as shown here and catalyzes the cleavage of this mRNA and inactivates it. Okay, therapeutic application of ribosuches. Ribosuches are good antibacterial target because they are more common in bacteria than eukaryotes and uses small molecules as ligand groups. Therefore, it allows production of highly specific drug with high penetration capability. Studies on ribosomes and analogs as ligands revealed promising results for future use of these analogs as a antibiotics to inhibit production of bacterial proteins, especially the virulent and essential ones. While the emergence of new antibiotic resistance is a concern, ribosomes could be the solution. It also uh, is hoped that by using this technology, we can control enzyme production in genetically disordered patients. Two examples of analogs that have shown positive results in acting as ligand to inhibit transcription and translation are PTPP coenzyme for TPP ribosomage and glycine methyl ester molecule for glycine ribosomage. More analogs are found for these and other ribosuches. However, further studies are needed to determine their toxicity and efficacy. Okay, in summary, we talked about ribosuches and what they are. They are RNA elements that regulate gene expression. There are three mechanisms in which uh, ribosuches act. Uh, they either uh, inhibit transcription uh, or translation or catalyze the auto uh, cleavage, which is also known as uh, splice processing. Over that, uh, well, therapeutic application of uh, uh, ribosuches, they are very sensitive and specific. Uh, and they can be used for antibacterial drug target. And that's referencing. Thank you very much.